Citizens Insurance Company. That's a very important insurance company for a lot of Floridians, kind of an insurance company of last resort. Yeah. Uh, you, you're concerned about that. You've been following issues related to that. Tell us a couple of issues that you think are very important to your constituents. Well, you know, truthfully, there are not a lot of options for people who live on the coast. Um, for some reason, in the state of Florida, if you live within a half mile of the coast, you're almost uninsurable with a, with a private company. But if you live a mile or two in, you can get that private insurance. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Hurricanes don't stop a mile or two into the coast when they hit. Uh, the winds are just as strong uh, or, or nearly as strong, you know, several miles in as they are on the coast and certainly some of the most damaging hurricanes that we've had in the past 20 years have have cut across Florida and caused way more damage inland than they actually have on the coast. So that's the the premise by which we decide that we have to have this state run insurance company and 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 try to keep rates if not affordable at least semi affordable for the folks who are on the coast. Um, now we've come up with a system that requires everybody in the state of Florida to kind of pay into that and I can understand why folks may think that that's unfair and 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 it may be. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, is that rates are far too high on the coast, uh, and they've doubled and tripled over the past five or six years. Now, if your taxes had doubled or tripled over the past five or six years, the state would be in an uproar. But for some reason, it's okay for that to happen uh, with insurance. Citizen says, they'll tell you right now, that they have enough money to cover a Hurricane Andrew-sized storm tomorrow. So uh, I don't see the big rush to change things. We've been on a, a glide path that is uh, putting us in a better position. Uh, and I think the bill this year raises rates on too many people and makes it difficult for uh, new home buyers that aren't going to be able to get citizens at, at, a, at a reasonable rate. And um, I think it's going to have a really bad effect on our economy and our, our real estate market at a time where that's just starting to turn the corner.